Lambright is the vice president of marketing for a company called AI. AI. And for artificial eye. Artificial eye, that's and right. And you guys are trying to recreate what we all have in our heads here, exactly. right? Exactly, the human visual cortex. So explain that. So the human visual cortex basically functions as a edge computing mechanism, right? So you are focusing on a small part of what you're capable of seeing, right? You're looking at me right now, you're still seeing the trees around me, you're seeing the golf cars over here. But I'm here, not paying attention. But you're not that. paying attention. You're just paying attention if something, some threat sort of comes out of the periphery and then you react, right? And you react, the golf ball comes off the golf car, so you react, you duck, you move, you put your hand up to block it. That's your human visual cortex responding to a threat, but that isn't your brain. All of that processing happens in the human visual cortex before it goes to the brain. The brain's not involved, right? The because brain, that would take too long. Take too long. And so we're trying to mimic that functionality within our sensor system so that AI enables an autonomous vehicle or an ADAS solution to respond more accurately and in a more timely manner. So how do you do that? So we start with what's referred to as an agile LiDAR system. And what, what is agile about it? Well, most LiDAR systems today are on a fixed pattern. So they just follow the same pattern every time. They treat every point in their scan as having equal importance. They don't differentiate something that is moving or something that might be a threat. And they, have, they can only repeat and go back and see the same thing on a fixed pattern, right? So if they're working at 10 hertz or they're every, 10 sec, every tenth of a second, that is, that's what they see. It. That's their scan rate. OK, and your LiDAR? And our LiDAR is basically saying, what do we need to see? When do we need to see it? It's all software definable. You can change the scan pattern. Once you define something as a potential threat, you can go back and revisit it in a three thousandths of a second so that we're able to build up much more intelligence around what's valuable, what's important, and what isn't important within a scene much more fast, much more quickly. Now, we also combine that LiDAR with a camera. So we have the ability of mapping every pixel in the 2D camera to every voxel in the 3D LiDAR to create what we call dynamic pixels. And so what is dynamic pixels? Well, dynamic pixels basically let you say, we have an RGB from the camera, so we have true color, and we have XYZ from the LiDAR, so we have the geometry. So now we have XYZ RGB within one data type. So what? What does that let you do? Well, we can because we have the camera and because we have generations of computer vision algorithms that work on cameras, we can now apply those computer vision algorithms to the 3D point cloud. What does that let you do? Let's say, for instance, okay? So let's, for instance, say I've got an edge detection algorithm. So I can now di define where all the edges are in the 3D point cloud. Again, so what? Well if I'm trying to get that information that matters, I don't care about what the color of the truck is. I just need to know where the truck begins, where its edges are, its vector and its velocity. Those are the things that matter. So I've just eliminated about 95% of the data that traditional systems would pass up because it's irrelevant. So with less data that you have to analyze, you're reacting quicker? Exactly, I, mean, I now know it's a truck and it's moving in this direction or a given direction. I can determine whether it's a threat or not and I can make an appropriate response. That's the, that's the answer, and I can do it much more, much more quickly. And this is one of the next steps that we need to get to fully autonomous vehicles. Completely, I think you know, it's all about being, making smarter decisions faster, and you know, five nines of reliability is just not going to be acceptable to get to level fives. So we have to have many more nines of reliability, if not 100% reliability, and this is the direction that it has to go. Well, good. Fascinating. Thanks, Steve. Really interesting what you're trying to do. <laughs> oh, Mimic what the human eye evolved to doing many, many years ago. Exactly. And we're really good at it. There's really no better perception system than the human visual cortex. Right. Thanks again. My pleasure. Market-leading chemical company Henkel and engineering specialist RLE International launched the Mobility Alliance a strategic partnership to boost the car development process in sustainability by addressing customer engineering needs from the earliest design and simulation phases. Hybrid structural reinforcements for lightweight designs and increased safety. Digital process integration from car development to series launch for higher efficiency. Forward-looking mobility concepts, materials, and technologies for real innovation.